Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. Rich here on this Thursday morning. It's the 25th day of March, the time as I make this quarter after 3 in the morning. Extremely heavy rain outside my door, so I'm in here uh, talking to you uh, here on the couch. Uh, we have a very dangerous uh, weather situation in the state of Alabama today. Phase 1 happens to be, uh, with some warnings this morning, uh, a northward moving warm front in the state. Then things will quiet down for us, while northwest Alabama later on today will get into a cellular situation with uh, dangerous, violent tornadoes, long track tornadoes, uh, life-threatening situation uh, all the way from uh, the Gulf Coast to Ohio today, and uh, another rare high risk. I've never seen one uh, within eight days, two high risk situations, but uh, that, that is the situation in Northwest Alabama. I wanna make the, the point right up front that uh, you know, even though the risk is lowest in Southeast Alabama and highest in Northwest Alabama, and graduated uh, various levels in between there. Uh, all of us have a tornado risk today, and all of us should take this seriously. I'm gonna walk you through the details now, and I'm glad you're here this morning. I want to start with the wide shot of uh, today's historic tornado outbreak from the Gulf Coast all the way to the state of Ohio, including that high risk covering portions of Mississippi, Alabama, and even touching part of Tennessee. Just an amazing map there. At 1 o'clock today, with low pressure near Little Rock, Arkansas, a cold front approaching the Mississippi River, and a warm front draped through Alabama. It's the classic setup for a historic severe weather event. Uh, the warm front phase is uh, this morning, uh, and then we get into the multicellular supercell phase with uh, tornadoes this afternoon and then we get into the linear phase tonight that will affect all of us one o'clock in the afternoon there are some powerful supercell thunderstorms dropping tornadoes in portions of mississippi and northwest alabama some violent tornadoes are certainly uh, a good bet at five o'clock in the afternoon that that phase continues we see that uh, a few showers and thunderstorms are affecting the rest of us in southeast alabama at that hour but i think by later on in the evening the the threat will increase for all of us as the linear phase starts and the, 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 the line continues moving southeast with uh, some supercell thunderstorms producing tornadoes, perhaps. Here's 1 o'clock in the morning as the line has passed the river region, probably by that hour, and into southeast Alabama. So again, we have uh, uh, the uh, marginal risk into southeast Alabama. A lot of us in the river region are in a level 2 risk. Then you get into the enhanced the moderate, and the high risk, but it doesn't matter which color you're under. Everybody has a threat of tornadoes in this situation and large hail and damaging winds. So locally strong storms today and especially tonight across the area. Today's high temperature 82, gusty south winds 10 to 25 miles per hour. Tonight's low 64. By tomorrow morning, the front has made it into southeast Alabama, and I think we get into a, a quieter situation during the daytime hours Friday before more scattered showers start to pop up on Saturday. So we'll have another risk of showers over the weekend, and in fact, even a better risk with showers and thunderstorms likely I think uh, during the day on Sunday uh, and uh, we may get a little break in the action as we start the new week I think Monday will be a quiet day temperatures will be comfortable but I think uh, there, there could be another round of showers as early as perhaps Tuesday of next week so you know there's going to be a, a very active pattern for the next few days but for today um, you know and uh, high temperature 82 tomorrow around 80 with a chance of showers especially early in the day uh, more scattered showers possible on Saturday I think the rain chances are very good on Sunday I think Monday will be a quiet day and then Tuesday looks like um, we, we may have to go up on that rain chance as another frontal system approaches the area one more map I wanted to show you here. This is uh, pretty helpful from the National Weather Service uh, showing general idea that in northwest Alabama from noon to 8 p.m. today, a very dangerous situation. And then as you get between Birmingham and Clanton, uh, they're saying noon to 10 p.m. But for a lot of us from Clanton on southeastward, about 7 p.m. to midnight in the linear phase as the line moves to the southeast, uh, that looks pretty good as well. So this will give you just a general idea on the timing aspect. I'm uh, just looking at the cameras out here. Uh, extremely heavy rain, thunder, and lightning at this location uh, here in the middle of the night. Um, say, hey, I hope you have our weather app on your phone or tablet. Uh, it's going to be your best friend uh, today with instant push notifications for severe weather alerts. Uh, it knows where you are. You're going to hear my voice say, you are under a so-and-so watch. You are under a so-and-so warning. Uh, it, it's great to have, and it's free in the App Store. Just search Rich Thomas Weather. Plus, you can take us to your safe place. Uh, just like last week, okay, we're going to be live streaming, and when, when we do the live stream, you click on the YouTube tab, and you can uh, see 
Boy, that was a big lightning outside the house. Uh, you're going to hear thunder as well. Uh, you, you can click on the uh, YouTube tab and look for Rich Thomas live stream and take us to your safe place and uh, stay up to date on what's going on. It's stormy outside, folks. Uh, also, we'll be uh, interrupting on the radio as needed. We'll be on television sometimes on CBS 8 and ABC 32. And we hope you stay weather aware. Uh, we'll be live on the radio this morning. And everything is normal this morning as far as that goes. All right. That's it. That's all I have for you. We'll get through this, and uh, I'll talk to you later, okay? Rich Thomas Weather.